Good morning, everybody. You can't, you won't believe what Clay's doing right now. We're racing the rain, and what do you have to do like immediately because of what's well, going on? I've got to get the pack choy. It was almost the same with the tomatoes in it. We put them into bigger pots, if you remember. We went from that little cups to this. And you can see the, these are the medium pot choy. I've already transplanted the bigger ones. But you can see why I've got to do it. Look at the root systems on there. They're overpowering the pot. So we've got to get them in. It, what I've been doing is putting two in each bucket. And uh, I'm pulling the weeds out of here before I transplant them because I don't want the weeds growing up with them. I'm going to try to keep things under control because when I get done work I'm tired and the last thing I want to do is go around weeding things. So if I do it before I can do it and keep up with it as we go. Let's take a walk up and see, show you what we've got accomplished. And hopefully I can get about eight more pak choy or bok choy or whatever you want to call it. They all, it's all the same thing. We got the first five buckets still got to be things put in it, but I've got a row of uh, Romas, a row of Rutgers, and you can see how the Pac Choyer is really doing well. These will be up like this and pretty soon be able to eat them within about probably about a month, just about middle of June. So hopefully things work out. Did, do we need to do morning chores before the rain? or? No, I can do that even after it's raining. Okay. I just want to beat the beat the rain so I can mix the soil for the plants. Do you want to show your setup, how you did it temporary, temporary before you make it permanent because yeah, we're, we're in case to, it doesn't work in the spot for any reason. Yeah, we're going to make a framework and I, I might even make the framework so it's movable too. Okay. But I'm going to do the framework here. If this does tend to get good afternoon sun, so it'll be great. They get the morning shade, you can water them first thing in the morning if you had to, and you can water them in the evening. And they'll get all day sun, because when the sun comes up and over, this is all lit up. I'm going to have to take some branches out so that this end can get some sun. But when I make the permanent framework, then I'll make these so that they just set right on top of it. And I can move them around as so, I need to. So I why four rows in or five rows in, so depending why on what I'm growing. I'm sorry, so why should they do temporary the first year until they uh, for their system? Because they got to know exactly how much sun the plants can use or um, if they need a, a place with a lot of shade or half shade or, you know, you have to do your experimenting during the, during the non-growing season. If you watch, you know, in the fall, just before the leaves leave, you can watch throughout the day of how much sun and shade you're getting. So, which... This is pretty sunny most of the afternoon, so that's why I chose this place. Plus, we have the water tank, and it's right handy close by. Ruthie's talk, trying to talk me into taking the chain link down and putting one over on the other side, which may happen because it's have the water tank on both sides of it. We may take down this. And then on how the water tank holds up to those four troughs. And move something, and then move some of the... This area will probably be chickens again, maybe. And move some of this we're outside. We're beans in here this year. Right. This year, this year or we'll, we might discuss that more. <laughs> and, and let's show them what we're going to do in the front, where we're going to put it in the front so they can see that we're going to have at least that one there. Yeah, you got those four troughs there, and I also have these two troughs, which have already got the floats in them and ready. And we also have our gardening table. We're not sure if we're only going to do that one and the one in the front this year because we have other interests. Other, other things, but I still got to do the gardening table for the radishes and the. We're also talking about building another greenhouse. And the uh, butter crunch lettuce. Another greenhouse, not this year though. That's no, going to be next year for sure. Season. But earlier I had a video on the apples and Wayne County, so you can check out that video. And um, happy Mother's Day, everybody! It is Mother's Day. Just so you know, the apples bloomed in our area on Mother's Day. All right, I'm going to use this tank as my water reservoir and I'm going to use two of the troughs up here. And did, how many troughs did you have last year? We had the six. Okay so you're going to have six or two? We'll have six. Okay so we're going to do those um, up front. I'm, I may add a couple more to it depending on how many buckets we've got and uh, and where we lived too last year people actually oh we had people stop and, stop and even knock on the door like what's what, what's that you know I'd like to do that too which is really kind of cool. So I've got to put my water tank up run my water and the hoses to two troughs up here. We'll end up using this for just 
picnic area or whatever just to set in the sun and shade and whatever well we usually sit here well, like we had if you remember there were six troughs in here last year yeah and the, and the six troughs came up to just about here right yeah they went all the way across they all can't the they did this whole and section too wide and you could barely get between them. and yes once they got growing and then he, over here we usually sit and have a cup of tea or something at the end of the day or the beginning of the day whatever and uh, All right, Ruthie, I gotta get busy. I he's got to get busy. I still got more pack choice. I got to eat something and cook something for later. I still got to work, work on water lines and fix up my button quail cage. I've got quail hatching out Thursday. I've got to get those quail into a different brooder. We checked out our trees. We have to do some replants for some trees. So we're just racing around. He's Clay came in. And he said, "Do what you got to do." We're supposed to have an afternoon. Thundershower. And I got a chance to talk to my mom this morning, which I have the best mother in the world. I am a mother's mama's girl. My mom is the best. She taught me to love God, and she was a good wife to my dad for 50 years and plus. So I have the best mom in the world, and I love her. And she is, what can I say? She's the perfect mother. So. I will go inside now and get a snack and uh, do my I've got mix morning another, chores. Unless you want to see how I mix them. Yeah, let's show the mixing of that and then I'll go do my chores or my jobs or my work or whatever. And we, right. I take, uh, this is uh, the peat. And I take five shovels of this. I say it with I do five five of each five of the peat and five of our, our compost from last year and that pretty much takes care of two buckets of whatever you're planting that's four and five yellow buckets. I also sprinkle the weeds on I sprinkle some uh, Epsom salt. What does that do? It's magnesium. It's good for the plants. Okay. like peppers, pack pe 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 choy or uh, bok choy or beans or anything else. Whatever it comes to the top of the little planter, you don't want to go plant them deeper. You want to plant them right where they, the plant meets the soil in the planter. And the best way to do your soil too is in wheelbarrows so it's higher. Well, yep. I do everything in this way because this way it, uh, I don't have to do a lot of bending. No rototilling. Now I've pulled the weeds out of there, I can show you exactly how I do the... Oh yeah, let's go back to that. Now I showed you in the other videos about the, the three little blocks in the bucket. I'm doing them two buckets at a time now. I got uh, two of these, the weeds picked out of two of these, so I'm only going to do two right now. the one bucket full right now. Okay. Make sure my net cup is solid. I've got um, tie wraps to hold the cup in there. And where'd you get those net cups? I bought them online. Okay. These are the three inch. You could use a two inch cup, it doesn't matter. Where'd you get your buckets? Got my buckets at the store. You can either buy them, but what we did is we uh, went to our local grocery store that does uh, bakery items. And a lot of times they'll just give them to you. You just go in the back and 
what was in before them okay, is so what icing. What I did is I took potting soil and okay. I put it in the net cup and pushed it down and made a pack, packed it solid. So now I'm going to take the two pack choy up here, take both buckets, and I don't have to mark these buckets because I know what pack choy looks like. I know it's not a tomato, I know it's not a bean or a pepper. And I highly recommend but if, growing if you're not If you're not sure what you're planting, I would recommend uh, labeling your bucket too. It take take, take it, the sticker right off your little planter and put it right on the big one. Pak choy is a is a vegetable that you really need to try. It's, it's, it's good so for good. Fry, good for salads. It's like a celery almost. All right, I'm, I'm going to set these down here. Well, what I was talking about with the thing, you can you pull the label off your little pot. You pick up your bucket, stick it in your bucket. Then you know exactly what you're what you got in your bucket. All right. So now what I do. Four of these before I go too far. I, I push the bottom in around that um, packed potting soil. That way it wicks it up. Okay. Dig it out on the sides a little bit so I can get both planters in there. And it I'll show you what I'm talking about with the root systems. These things are, they're ready to be transplanted. I don't disturb the roots. A lot of people will take and rip them all up, and I don't do that because you don't shock the plant this way. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that one facing that way and the other one facing this way. You see how they're growing that way? That way they don't grow in together as they're growing up there. They're growing out of the bucket. And I pulled all the weeds out of it beforehand so that... All right, now we're going to do this. Let's kind of push it down in and... Get my little scoop. I think I got it down in. I'll be right back. These have a wonderful flavor. They're like a celery. And they're nothing strong. And if you're going to try a new vegetable, I would definitely try these. And when you're doing this kind of work, make sure you got all your utensils where you're working, right? <laughs> yeah. I need sure. to get my other scoop out of the garage and put one up here and one down there to work with. And you just hold them back and get your dirt around them. Get them filled in. Make sure that everything's getting all the, and that getting the soil all over top of your, your plant. This way the, the plant isn't being disturbed, you're not going over top of the, the stem where it was. And there you have it, I've just planted some pak choy and it's ready to go into the thing. You just lift it out of this bucket and you walk it over to your, your trough and set her down on. Now I'll wet these down before we get the rain. That way the any of this peat doesn't blow away in the wind. Because once it gets wet, you don't have to worry about it blowing away. But now we've got six in, and I planted quite a bit. And I still got a lot of pak choy in the in the greenhouse to do, so we'll do this row of pak choy and where those five buckets are up there. Then what I'm gonna do is take the dirt out of them buckets and I'm gonna beat them apart, take all the root systems and the weeds out of there and reuse the soil. Because it pretty much composts itself over the winter. There's worms and everything in it, so it's great. All right. I've got to get busy, so I haven't got time to talk anymore. So we'll see you in our next video, and uh, I'm going to go in and have my snack and do my cooking, and uh, we'll see you in our next video. God bless.